Hello, Steve White, Steve White 39. Um, this is the second time I'm doing this video. The first time I just talked too long and got too complicated because I was sort of working it out as I was talking about it, which sometimes works and other times doesn't. So, yes, so I've recently discovered Kim's Convenience. Um, I love the show. Um, it went for five years. It was just recently cancelled. It had been announced in March 2020. It was renewed for two seasons, season five and six. And then in March 2021, it was announced that they weren't doing the sixth season. The fifth season was the final season. And at that point, there was only a few episodes left and they'd all been filmed. So the actors, the audience were all incredibly disappointed because the show was ending before anyone knew. And they didn't have a chance to appreciate it and, um, and treat it with the respect they probably should have as it was ending. Um, and there's been some conflicting um, reports about why it ended. And I've been spending a bit of time reading interviews and watching interviews and watching videos and trying to work out what happened. Um, now, the show itself, um, it was originally a play, and it was written by an act, out-of-work actor, in Inns Choi. He basically wrote a play for himself. Um, he wrote it about his uncle's convenience store that he ran in the 90s, and he basically played the role of the son, and... Um, Jin Young and Paul Sun Young Lee were both hired to play um, Uma and Appa, the mother and father, and um, they continued on to the TV series basically after five years because they he wrote this play, but of course because he couldn't find any work and then no one wanted to produce it, it took him forever. But they managed to get it done as um, a fringe festival play, and it caught on. Everyone loved it. Um, it went for five years. They they. Um, found a theatre production company and they just they turned it into like an ongoing play. And then at some point, um, the production team, what were they called, was it Thunder, Thunderbird Films, approached them and said, let's make a TV series. These are some white producers. Um, Ennis came on as, I think, as a showrunner. He developed it with um, Kevin White. Um, and like I said, the show went on for went five years. It was doing really well. Um, it was really well received by audiences. Um, ratings wise, it got under a million, uh, about 1.7 to 1.9 uh, million, pretty much for its run fairly steadily, and that's pretty good for a Canadian show, apparently. Um, but yeah, th apparently there were some issues during the production that no one knew about that have just come out along with this. So basically, the announcement came, like I said, after the show had been finished, um, finished and people were expecting to do a six year. So the actors were all blindsided. They didn't really feel like they had a chance to say goodbye. And also the last year was done during COVID, so there was a lot of distance with people. And it just wasn't a nice way for it to end because it had been a very close, very warm sort of family show. Although it seems as though it was just the cast that was close, not the production team and the cast. Because um, after they came out, um, Simu Lee was Lou. I keep calling him Simu Lee. Simu Lou was um, not happy. Uh probably because he was being blamed for it. Because he went on to be a Marvel actor, and he's in the new um, Shang-Chi film, um, the assumption was that, well, he was asking for too much money, or he wasn't available because he was doing the film, and that's why the film was cancelled. Uh, the series was cancelled, and that's not what happened. Um, the first sort of simple version of the cancellation is simply that well, it wasn't cancelled for starters. The the network had um, greenlit another another year. Uh, they were very happy with the ratings. They wanted to continue. The actors wanted it to continue, but supposedly the producers just decided to end it, and they decided to end it and focus on a spin off with the one white character, what well, white actress and character from the show, which enraged a lot of people, because the show was so important because it was so groundbreaking as a, a, a series about an Asian family. And then to cancel it with no fanfare and no warning um, and no proper ending um, without consulting the cast and then to take the one white cast member and make a show um, was not very good optic-wise. Um, now, what I've sort of heard since is that the issue wasn't so much the producers not wanting to produce the show and just saying, ah, we're done like it was just a business venture and they didn't care about the importance of the show um, and the fact that the audiences and the actors still wanted to continue and that it was very much a groundbreaking sort of... Um, it was just a very important show. Um, it meant a lot to a lot of people. What we sort of heard later was that um, Inns Choi wanted to leave 
And because he created the show, because it was his family, his voice, um, even he didn't want it to continue. He wanted to end it. Um, the other sort of version of that is that he wanted to leave because he was burnt out. And he was okay with them bringing on another showrunner or producer to continue the show, like everyone wanted to do, but they felt they had to have an Asian producer or writer um, or showrunner that they needed for the optics to have someone Asian on the production team or someone Korean, specifically Korean on the production team. And they couldn't find someone with the experience that they needed to do that or someone of the same calibre as him to do that. So they ended it because they couldn't see themselves, they couldn't see how to run the show without in Shui and um, with, without a, a Korean voice. Um, so they sort of gave up because it's like, we can't do it with a bunch of white people. Um, so they just let it go. Because many shows have had showrunners leave after a few years when they get burned out, they just bring in someone new. Like, the show's established, the characters are established, you've got your show bible. It's very easy to continue a show that's already established. You don't. It's not the same as creating it in the first place. So I do think it definitely could have been done. They could have brought in another showrunner. But it seemed to be a race issue and an optics issue and a political issue where it sort of they couldn't see themselves doing it as just white people. So now why they didn't just bump up um, Paul, um, Sun Hyung Lee, to be... I'm just going to call him Paul because I, I, the name's too long. Um, why they didn't just um, make him a consultant or make him um, a showrunner so he could be seen as the voice and the heart, because he's sort of the heart of the show anyway and to bring him in as the voice. Um, so just for the optics, because, oh, it's okay. The original showrunners left, but, you know, Paul stepped up and now he's, like, one of the showrunners. They could have done that. I don't see why they didn't do that. Um, there does seem to be some elitism and some issues here where, um, some of you said afterwards that the cast was paid, um, he said horse poo rates. Um, I would have said a different word but he's trying to be um, diplomatic, I guess. But um, that wasn't good, optic-wise. The fact that they weren't paying the cast, it just showed a separation between the cast and the production team. Like, you're just actors, you're working for us. You know, it's very cold, very business. Um, and there is sort of, like, like the cast of um, Hawaii, H, um, Hawaii 5 -0. And all the, I'm not even go, going into that whole thing, but that was a pay rate issue as well, and the Asian actors left the show because of it. Um, and I don't know why. Why are Asian actors being paid less or not being paid what they should? Um, that just seems racist. Um, I don't know. Um, I'd have to go into the specifics of that. But um, like somebody said, it wasn't about money. He didn't care how much he was being paid for the show. The show meant more to him, doing the show, what that means to people. Um, what it means for um, representation and for fans and Asian people. He was like, I don't care. I will make sure I'm in the sixth season. So that, because he got blamed. People were saying it's his fault. That show was cancelled because of him, because basically they cancelled it right around the time that um, the promotion for Sh um, Shang-Chi was coming out. But he had to come out on online and say, this show was not cancelled because of me. This was not done because of money or... Um, um, schedule or like you know an actor having like you know like some sort of tantrum like you know need to treat me differently now because I'm important none of that happened um, what it seems to be was just that the producers it was just you know a business venture for them and the cast were just actors they were just being hired to do a job it was all very business to them and once elements of that changed it was like well we just cancelled it because it didn't mean anything to them they're white had, didn't have the significance to them that it had to the cast and to the audience. Um, they didn't get how important it was. Then it was probably just another show, like they're just going on to produce another show with the white actress um, from the show. So they didn't get it. Now, that's the sad part because um, when I saw um, Paul being interviewed, he had said that um, he was tr he wanted the show to continue and that he was trying to... The, the, the cast was involved in trying to keep the show running. So they did have some idea that, I guess they obviously knew that Innes was, le Innes, Innes was leaving, I keep calling him Innes, Innes Troy was leaving, um, but I don't think they knew the show was actually going to end, I think they thought they were going to bring someone on to continue it and bring on um, someone to show run it and that. They probably wanted to get involved, but were told no. But the saddest thing that I saw was, because um, I didn't see any views from Andrea Bang, um, who played the daughter, um, I saw a lot of interviews from Samu because he was 
very wary of being blamed for the show being cancelled. Um, but I, I only heard one um, quoted um, statement from um, Jean Jung. I keep wanting to call her June Jung, but Jean Jung. Yun. She um, said she didn't feel represented, didn't feel that she had a voice. There was no Korean voice on the production team or no female Korean voice on the production team and she found it very difficult to do the show because she wasn't represented and she w felt she wasn't listened to. And that's what makes me sad. The idea that the cast was all like working very hard on the show and really doing a lot of press and a lot of um, pushing the show and that because it really meant something to them. And they were just being treated like, you know, actors, like they are just being paid, that they weren't consulted, that they weren't um, allowed to have a voice. And had they brought them into the writer's room and let them be involved that would have been the connection they needed to continue the show. That would have been the optics. All they needed to say was, oh, you know, um, Sinu or um, Paul basically are now showrunners, they're involved, they're producers or whatever, um, co-writers, whatever. That would have been enough to give them the credibility they would have needed to keep the show going. There's no reason why this show had to end, is what it comes down to. It just didn't have to end. And it's really a bit of a tragedy. And I'm really loving the show and the fact that it's already gone is really sad. I don't have this years to spend with these characters. I just have like whatever time it takes to watch these 65 episodes. Although at the moment I only have season one and two available to me and season five I've already got. Um, I don't know if, how to see season three and four because um, there's some issues with Netflix and that I have to work on that out. But, um, which actually doesn't bother me long term because it means I've got episodes left to watch later. Assuming I can get them at some point. Um... Because if I watched them all in one go, I'd have nothing left. But, um, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to talk about that because I sort of feel like I got to the bottom of why it was um, cancelled, that, you know, Inns left and they didn't feel like they could continue without him and they didn't see the importance of it. And, unfortunately, because they didn't treat the cast with... They, they just didn't see them um, for the, um, I guess, the input they could have been. They didn't um, treat them with the respect they should have. They didn't then have the opportunity to, to have them basically save the show and be like these envoys, um, the Korean voice. It's just really sad. It didn't have to end. But, um, yeah, that seems to be what's happened. Um, it's very sad. Um, the show itself is great. I'm going to enjoy watching the rest of it. But, um, like, Paul Paul made me sad because he, he was becoming very emotional when he was being interviewed and being asked about the show because he wanted to keep it going and it meant a lot to him. He's very proud of it, and it easily could have gone on for another two or three years, I reckon, easily. Um, there are a lot of shows that go 10, 12 years. Um, it, especially if it's a family drama, it's based around family. You just go with, you know, the flow, like people get married, people have kids, you know, you just evolve with the show. Whereas some shows, they get very, very caught on um, particular circumstances that, you know, you can't stretch out. Whereas family life, you know, it just keeps on going. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Um, I, I, I found it a bit sad to see the, the conflict behind the scenes and that the, 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 it was very complex and it wasn't as simple. And I feel like I've gotten to the bottom of it and we'll hear more later on as people talk and they get a bit of distance from it. Um, but considering how great the show was, how much it's loved and how much it means to people, it's sad to know that it had this um, sort of unceremonious, sort of um, complicated, sensitive, sort of people being upset, you know, sort of ending. Um, not the best way to end a, a great series, but the um, point is, it's a great series and we can always watch it. I'm going to go. Thanks. Bye.